Do you think it's possible to have a, a serious, objective, rigorous political discussion with Grok, uh, like well, for a long time, and it would like Grok three or Grok four? Grok three is going to be next level. What people are currently seeing with Grok is is kind of baby Grok. Yeah, baby Grok. <laughs> it's baby Grok right now, uh, but baby Grok's still pretty good. XAI kicked off their announcement by showcasing a chart comparing Grok's reasoning progress to multiple versions of ChatGPT. According to their data, Grok 3 is now outperforming OpenAI's models in key areas like math, science, and coding. But before we take those claims at face value, there's an important factor to consider Elon Musk's ongoing rivalry with OpenAI. Musk has been vocal about his attempts to acquire OpenAI, just like he did with Twitter. If he can't buy them out, he's determined to outcompete them. So, naturally, anything coming from XAI needs to be taken with a grain of salt. But at the same time, XAI has something that might give them a real advantage hardware. One of the biggest advantages XAI has over OpenAI is raw computing power. They've built their own massive data center, known as Colossus, which houses 200,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs, making it the most powerful AI training cluster in the world. That's at least twice as powerful as the next biggest competitor. Because XAI owns the entire tech stack, they can optimize the hardware down to the finest details. In contrast, OpenAI is mainly relying on Microsoft's Azure Cloud for training its models. While OpenAI likely has special access and optimizations within Microsoft's system, they don't have the same level of control that XAI does. And here's the crazy part. Just getting this data center up and running was a massive challenge on its own. XAI deployed 100,000 GPUs in just 122 days, then doubled it to 200,000 GPUs in 92 more days. Power consumption is also a major issue, with the facility pulling 250 megawatts of electricity, so much that Tesla's megapacks had to be used for power buffering. On top of that, they designed a custom water cooling system just to keep everything from overheating. Musk and his team aren't stopping there. They're already planning to expand Colossus, and potentially build even more data centers to keep pushing Grok forward. Raw power is one thing, but does Grok 3 actually perform better? According to benchmarks, it's in a league of its own when it comes to math, science, and coding. An early version of the model codename Chocolate even dominated the LMS's chatbot arena, a blind test where users vote on chatbot responses without knowing which model they're using. This is a significant achievement because LMSS removes brand bias. Since most AI models require a paid subscription, users might feel inclined to defend the one they've already invested in. But with Grok 3 coming out on top in an open competition, it suggests that its performance is genuinely impressive. Of course, there's a catch Grok 3 is not open source. Unlike Grok 1, which was released for public use, this version is completely paywalled. The only way to access it is by subscribing to X's Premium Plus plan, which costs $40 per month. This is yet another price increase for X's subscription service, which was just $22 last year. And here's the kicker. Most of that $40 isn't even paying for Grok. The subscription also includes Twitter-related perks like longer posts, editing features, and fewer ads. So if you're only interested in Grok 3, you're essentially paying extra for features you might not even use, Grok 3 has um, very, very powerful reasoning capabilities. Uh, in the tests that we've done thus far, Grok 3 is outperforming anything that's been released that we're aware of. Grok 3 is kind of scary smart. You know, it comes up with solutions that you didn't even think were, it, like you, you wouldn't even anticipate. And, and I think this might be, we think it'll be better than anything else. And then maybe this might be the last time that any AI is better than Grok. While Grok 3 is locked behind a paywall, there is some hope for the open source community. Elon Musk has stated that once Grok 3 is stable, XAI will open source Grok 2 just like they did with Grok 1. But there's reason to be skeptical. Despite Musk's claims, other Grok models, like Grok 1.5, 1.5 volts, and Grok 2 mini, still haven't been open sourced. If XAI follows through, they could end up creating the most powerful open source AI models in just a few years. But if they don't, Grok 3 could just be another walled off closed source competitor like OpenAI's GPT 4. This raises a bigger question who's really leading the AI race? Will XAI and Grok surpass OpenAI and DeepSeek, or will the competition stay ahead? One of the wildest aspects of Grok 3's development is just how much power its training required. The Colossus data center is already consuming about 250 megawatts of electricity. To put that in perspective, that's nearly a quarter of a gigawatt, and it could climb even higher as they expand the system. This has led to some jokes and memes because, of course, anything involving Elon Musk turns into meme fuel. One popular reference making the rounds is from Back to the Future, 
where Doc Brown talks about the legendary 1.21 gigawatts of power needed for time travel. With Colossus already at 0.25 gigawatts, it might not be long before XAI gets there. And to keep up with future AI demands, XAI is already looking to upgrade from NVIDIA H100 GPUs to H200s. These new chips double the onboard memory and offer better performance for scaling large language models. If XAI makes this transition smoothly, Grok 4 could be even more powerful. If you want to try Grok 3, there's one big obstacle, the paywall. Unlike its earlier versions, Grok 3 is not open source and you can't run it locally on your own hardware. The only way to access it is through X's Premium Plus plan, which costs $40 a month. This is a major price hike. Last year, Premium Plus was only $22, meaning X has nearly doubled the cost in just a year. And here's the real issue. Most of what you're paying for has nothing to do with Grok. The Premium Plus subscription also includes the ability to edit posts on Twitter, the option to post longer tweets and videos, a blue checkmark on your profile, fewer ads on the platform. So even though Grok 3 might justify the price increase, most of what you're paying for is Twitter-related perks. This raises a key question. Is Grok 3 really worth $40 a month, or is it just an add-on to X's subscription model? During the X livestream, Musk confirmed that he plans to open source Grok 2 once Grok 3 is fully stable. This follows the same pattern as Grok 1, which was released publicly before Grok 2 launched. But here's the issue. Several Grok models, like Grok 1.5, 1.5 volts, and Grok 2 mini, were never open sourced. So while Musk's promise sounds great, XAI's track record on this isn't exactly consistent. If they do follow through, Grok 2 could become one of the most powerful open source models available, potentially challenging DeepSeek and Mistral. But if they fail to release it, XAI will continue down the closed source path, competing directly with OpenAI and Anthropic instead. With Grok 3 now live, XAI is making a serious push to outperform OpenAI and DeepSeek. They've got the most powerful AI training cluster in the world, they're optimizing everything down to the hardware level. And they're already planning even bigger expansions. But at the same time, there are big questions that still need answers. Is Grok 3 truly the best AI model right now, or just the best marketed? Will XAI actually open source Grok 2, or was that just talk? And is Grok's performance enough to justify a $40 per month paywall, especially when most of that price is tied to Twitter-related perks? If XAI sticks to their promises, they could create the most advanced AI models on the planet open or closed. But if they don't, OpenAI and DeepSeek might hold on to their lead for the foreseeable future. What do you think? Will Grok 3 dominate AI? Or is it just another challenger in an already crowded race? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these kinds of videos. Thanks for watching.